So we may have the first Republican presidential candidate for 2024 jumping in the race. Take a look. New, Chris Christie is seriously considering running for president in 2024. Three people familiar with his thinking tell Axios. Um, so following politics as long as I followed it, I can decode that for you from politician speak. That means, yes, I'm going to run for president. That is what I'm planning on doing. If he doesn't end up running, it's because his mind was changed by something. So, but right now, this means, yeah, he's going to run. And he's already starting the work behind the scenes to get the infrastructure built up and whatnot. That's what's going on here. So there you have it. Likely the first Republican primary presidential candidate is Chris Christie for 2024. Now, what are his chances? I mean, that's a, an interesting question to ask because he sort of got absolutely obliterated the last time he ran. And really, it's like yes and no. So he did get obliterated. But also, what people forget is towards the end of his campaign, he had cut a deal with Trump. And he basically acted as Trump's attack dog. And so I don't know if you guys remember, but he obliterated Marco Rubio in a back and forth in a way that was legendary that I think we covered at the time and I've enjoyed many times since. And I think what he learned from that experience is this very simple thing. Oh, I need to not be overcoached. I need to not listen to my consultants and my strategists. And I need to just let it fly. Because if Trump showed anything, it's that Republican primary voters respect balls. Republican primary voters want somebody who's going to be like, I don't care what mainstream media says. I don't care what polite society says. I have no filter. I shoot from the hip and I'm aggressive. That's what Trump showed. So Chris Christie, his natural setting, his natural personality is that. Now, the guy's a massive asshole and I disagree with him about almost everything. But his default setting is, hey, I'm the New Jersey tough guy. I'm going to tell you how it is. I'm going to I'm going to be a straight shooter over here. And I think he learned that lesson in the final days of the campaign in 2016. So here's what he would have to do to be relevant and to have any prayer at all. He would, of course, he would need Trump to not run because if Trump runs, everybody's wasting their time. He's going to win the primary or, you know, I'll give him a 70% chance of winning the primary, even if there are 10 other candidates. He could lose, but it's very likely he's going to win. Um, so Trump needs to not run. And then what Christie would have to do is wholly embrace Trumpism, wholly embrace Trumpism, and then out obnoxious every other Republican on stage. And then he could win. So all the stuff in the past that, you know, the right has disliked him for, whatever, all the little scandals, hugging Obama or whatever after Hurricane Sandy, that's all, that's so long ago, it's water under the bridge. Even the Republicans will, you know, they, hard, hardly anybody will even bring it up, I think. But if he fully embraces Trumpism and Trump and is more obnoxious than everybody else on stage and Trump's not running, then he does have a chance, for sure. Um... Because it's not unheard of on the right or the left that somebody runs for president, gets obliterated, and then at some point in the future runs again and wins. That's happened before. So, um, I don't know, man. We'll see. But in, on actual substance, Chris Christie's abysmal. I remember he was viciously, fiercely arguing for war, for escalation with Russia, for every wrong policy you can imagine on tax cuts and deregulation. So he's terrible on the actual substance. But the lane that he has is, step one, Trump doesn't run. Step two, fully embrace Trump. Step three, be super obnoxious and out obnoxious all the other people on stage, which is sort of his default setting, so he has an advantage in that sense. But there you have it. Looks like the big guy wants to run.